Hi everyone and welcome to this short video on creating links on your Google site pages. What a great way to send people to relevant material on the web by creating links at your site. There's a couple of ways to do it. Let's take a look. Well the first way that we'd like to try here is to turn text into links rather than a URL. So I have some text there. Now before I begin I want to go to the website that I'm going to send someone to and copy the URL. Now, I know that's a short one, we can probably type it in, but it's always good practice to copy it so you get everything that you need. Let's go back to our page and edit that page. Let's scroll down to where we want to create the link. Here we go. Now, we're going to highlight those words and turn them into a link by clicking on the link button. Now, we're going to get a window that will appear to work with and notice it starts off with site pages. This is where you can link to another page on your site. Well, that's not what we want. We want a web address. And so there's the text displayed, and we're going to paste. Now, before we finish this, we do have another option, is to open this link in a new window. Uh, personally, I like to do that. That way, my website stays on the web browser, and another tab or window will open up with the site I'm sending people to. We'll click OK. And to test that, all we have to do is to save our work, come to our page and now click on that link and it should open up in a new tab. There it goes and it's good to go. Now another way to work with this is to send, turn a, a, a URL directly into a link. So let's go ahead and edit our page once again. We'll come down here and we will highlight that URL and click on link. Notice it automatically turns it into a link. Let's click OK. Now, of course, we could test this by clicking on it, and it will send us directly to that URL. The problem here, though, you might have noticed, we didn't get a dialog box popping up to open a new window. This has to be done manually. So let's go back to our edit page, go to our URLs, and if we click once on it, we can check the link to make sure that's accurate. We can click on the Change button, and now we can get to that little checkbox. That's what I want. Click OK. Or if we wanted to, we could actually remove the link, which doesn't remove the words, just the link itself. And that is the same tools for every link that we create. And we will save our work. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Have a good day.